So, sa Excel lang yata, possible na mas better option ang X. And uh, pag-usapan natin yan in this video. So, we're, we're gonna discuss the X lookup formula and how upgrade siya ng ibang lookup options natin in this video. So, kung first time ninyo, welcome sa Excel and Excel series where we talk about tips, mga tricks na ginagawa natin para ma-increase natin yung ating arsenal when it comes to Excel formulas and functions. So, we have a full playlist of other videos. You can check that out later. Lagi ko lang sa description din yung link to that. Now, let's talk about the XLOOKUP formula. When you talk about lookup, marami kasing mga application ang lookup sa ating paggamit ng spreadsheets. Sa totoo lang, iba-iba na yung merong available na options natin. We have VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. Yan yung mga, sabi natin, OG na mga ways to come up with your lookup values. Meron din naman mga mas techy ng konti na gumagamit ng index and match. Now, we have discussed those tools sa ibang videos already. But, let's talk about XLOOKUP for this video. Okay? Watch out lang, guys. Um, disclaimer, this formula is actually available for Microsoft 365 and uh, for Mac yun and Windows and Excel for iPhone and Android. Dun pa lang siya available. Hindi siya available sa lahat ng versions. Yun nga yung reason kung bakit um, a lot of you guys should consider I, I would advise that you should consider upgrading to the 365 version. Kasi nga, we also have naman the assurance of Microsoft that it will be their final version as it is already as a subscription service na hindi katulad ng mga older versions natin. So, so, it's definitely an upgrade and I'll show you why. So, isa-isahin natin. And una sa lahat, tingnan muna natin yung ating table. So, may table tayo dito. Mayroon tayong brand. Sabihin na natin school supplies. We have price, item, and uh, description. Okay? Then, we have purchase date. So, meron tayong yung several columns dyan. Unahin na natin i-discuss yung syntax muna. Ano ba ang formula? Or paano gamitin ang formula? So, ang pinaka-basic nyan, dito muna tayo sa first part, sa price. When you look for the pen, ang formula na gagamitin is equals x look up yun yung formula na natin and then open parentheses you have several parts yung first part nga yung look up value ano yung hinahanap so in this case nag refer tayo do sa cell A11 yun yung katabi niya which is nakasulat dun yung pen na word and then the second part yung second part ng ating syntax yung second um, after ng comma is the look up array for the look up array Usually kasi, kung familiar kayo sa VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, sineselect natin yung buong table, di ba? Kung saan pinaka-leftmost sa VLOOKUP or topmost sa HLOOKUP yung ating reference. Pero this time, we will only select yung column kung saan nakalagay yung ating hinahanap na value. In this case, kasi yung hinahanap natin is yung pen and that is in column C. You can see here, sineselect natin yung C1 to C5. Okay? Ngayon, Dito pa lang, mapapansin nyo na na may difference. Bakit? Pag VLOOKUP kasi yung ginamit nyo, definitely, dapat yung column ng pen is nasa leftmost. At hin kung hinahanap natin yung price, hindi siya mag-work. ba? Usually, equals VLOOKUP, tapos pen, comma, sabihin natin is column B to column C, comma 2. Yung pang ilang no, column siya from the leftmost. Hindi yun... Pwede dito sa, sa specific na example natin kasi yung hinahanap natin na price is nasa left ng item. So, una sa lahat, dun pa lang, mas magaling na yung X lookup sa V lookup kasi nga, hindi mo na kailangan i-move around yung iyong columns para mag-work siya. Regardless of nasa left ba siya or nasa kanan or uh, kung ano man yung location niya, it will work. Okay? So, yan. So, yung second part natin, look up array. So, dun tayo sa third part, na required na part na ating formula, we have the return array. Return array, ibig sabihin, nasa ang column yung gusto mong mag-appear na data. You have to take note na dapat pantay yung ating rows. Ibig sabihin, kung sa C1 to C5, dapat B1 to B5 din siya. Dapat nagmamatch yung ating arrays. Okay? Um, yan. So, in this case, nasa column B siya. So, B1 to B5 yung ating location ng ating return array. Now, bakit ko sinabi na yun yung required? Kasi if you look at the syntax over here sa baba, um, nakalagay doon, look up value, look up array, return array, tapos yung mas susunod na parts ay meron siyang bracket. The bracket just means na optional ito. Pwede mong lagyan ng value, pwedeng hindi. Ganon siya for Excel. Okay? Kapag may bracket, pwede mong, pwede mong i-dictate kung ano yung value or 
if you ignore, meron siyang default functions. So, in this case, ignore muna natin. Simplihan lang muna natin. Doon muna tayo sa lookup ng price. If I press enter, you can see na nag-output siya ng value of 5. Okay? 5 yung katapat ng pen. So, when I said default values dun sa mga optional, it means na just like x look, uh, just like v look up is it's looking from top to bottom. Yun yung uh, way niya. Yun yung direction niya ng paghahanap ng match. So, since nag-match na siya dun sa unang line, which is yung pen natin na nasa C2, is 5 yung nag-appear na value dito. Move on tayo sa next one. So, one more thing na kaya ng x look up na hindi kaya ng v look up is it can can output multiple columns at the same time. Sa VLOOKUP kasi, kung gusto natin na um, mag-output din yung description and the purchase date, ang gagawin natin is lalagyan natin siya ng VLOOKUP formula here and here. Sabihin natin, VLOOKUP, hanapin niya yung pen dito sa table, then papartan lang natin yung pang ilang column number siya. Ganun natin siya gawin kapag VLOOKUP yung gagamitin natin. Pero pag XLOOKUP, hindi natin kailangan gawin yun. If we have succeeding or several columns na gusto natin mag-appear. Katulad nito, meron tayong description purchase date. Description purchase date din yun nandun sa table natin. We can actually just put the formula sa isang cell. So, dito sa cell na to, wala akong nilagay na formula, pero dito lang may formula. And magsispill over siya dun sa katabi niya. And ang gagawin lang natin is yung ating return array, instead na isang column, nalagay natin dyan D to E. Ibig sabihin, itong lahat, ang ating sinelect as return array. Ibig sabihin, i-output niya yung dalawang cell na adjacent or katapat ng ating hinahanap na value. So, dahil yung pen, ang katabi niya ay itong D2 and E2. If I press enter, you can see nagmamatch or pareho yung nakalagay dito, dito. So, again, another function ng XLOOKUP na hindi available sa older lookup formulas. Now, Moving on, we also have another thing na kayang gawin ng XLOOKUP. It can actually match yung item and brand. Ibig sabihin lang nun is if I go here sa ating formula, nandito yung ating formula, XLOOKUP, hinahanap natin. Ang ga Pwede nating i-match na ang mangyayari is yung pag nilagyan natin 1, comma, tapos naglagay tayo ng conditions, isi-search niya yung both conditions. Ibig sabihin, ang gusto natin yung column C, ay itong nasa A13 at ang column A dapat ay yung nasa B13 kasi yun yung item and brand. If I put the asterisk there, ibig sabihin ng asterisk sa Excel ay end. Okay? End condition siya. Iko-combine niya. Dapat pareho ma-fulfill. Kapag plus, it's an or condition. Okay? So, dahil asterisk yan, sinasabi natin na kailangan ma-match niya pareho. Kailangan yung item ay na based sa A13 at kailangan yung brand ay based sa B13. Okay? And then, it will give you the description and purchase date. If I press enter, you can see here, nagmatch siya kasi yung pen na big ay ito. Then, pen na big ay nasa, first, nasa second row. Kaya ito yung kanyang na-pull. Yung description and purchase date. Now, moving on, we also have the item and condition. Yung kanina kasi, dalawang condition. We can also use, again, same syntax, di ba? Pero, hindi lang basta siya direct match. Pwede ka rin mag-base sa numerical value. So, pwede tayo ngayon maglagay ng numerical logic. Yung greater than or equal, uh, less than or equal, dun sa ating condition. So, this time, ang ginawa naman natin, to, to demonstrate, is yung item, nagmamatch sa cell sa A15, and yung price niya dapat ay greater than yung nasa B15. So, pag kin-enter ko to, you can see, iba yung, um, yung sagot niya dito. ba? Sabi niya, um, dapat yung price is greater than 5. So, that is why yung na-match niya dito na description, you can see, is pandan. Pero yung dito sa before that is ito ang nagmamatch, yung first item. Pero since ang price nun ay 5, and we are looking for something ang price is greater than 5, kasi yun yung nandito sa value natin, ang na-pull niya is the one na nasa bottom. So, ito yung na-pull niya na purchase date and description. So, you can see how dynamic things can get. So, yung formulas nyo pwedeng pag-combine-combine in, isang formula lang, hindi na maraming columns to get to what you want na mag-appear na lookup value.
this is one more thing. XLOOKUP actually contends not just with VLOOKUP, but also with um, index and match. Because if you can see here, yung ating formula, XLOOKUP, no, hinanap natin siya, um, nilagay natin siya, nag-nested tayo, no? So, hinanap natin yung A17, yung NBX, dito sa A na column, and then nag-lookup ulit tayo ng ito, yung nasa taas niya, yung header niya, yung description na header, hinanap naman natin siya dito sa columns natin, ito sa row na to, yung may headers, and ang output niya ay sinelect natin yung buong table, or from A1 to E5, if I press enter, you can see na hinanap niya yung match or kung saan nag-intersect. Yung brand niya ay nag-match dun sa description. Dahil description yung nandito sa header natin. So, kung saan nag-intersect yung NBX na brand at yung description, yun ang nag-output na cell value. Let me demonstrate further. If I key an item here, you can see it's showing paper. Kasi yun yung ating hinahanap. Dun siya nag-intersect sa cell na yun. So, XLOOKUP will contend not just with your VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, but also with index and match. Okay? So, in another video, I will be discussing all the optional naman na parts ng ating syntax ng XLOOKUP. But, uh, to close this out, I just want to explain kung bakit I think XLOOKUP is the best option. So, una sa lahat, mas madali siyang gamitin kung marami kayong columns. Kasi kung VLOOKUP na traditional na yung ginagamit ninyo, bibilangin mo pa kung pang ilang column yung gusto mo mag-output, di ba? Yun yung usual natin ginagawa. Tapos just imagine kung marami kang columns na iba-iba, you will have to put in, kunyari, look up, tapos yung comma, pang ilang column siya, pang 15. Tapos yung sa second cell, pang ilang column siya, pang 27, something like that. Kaya mas maganda... Um, kung isa-select mo na lang, basically, kung ano yung return array. Ano pa, kung gusto mo yung katulad nito, consecutive uh, columns yung lalabas, pwede rin. Um, it's, it's functioning kind of like yung filter formula natin, which I've already discussed. Meron tayong video doon. Lagay ko dyan yung link kung hindi pa kayo familiar sa filter formula. So, meron na rin siya noon um, built in sa XLOOKUP. And, i-add mo pa yung all the conditional stuff na pwede pong, mo pang gawin with it. Okay? Now, hindi ko pa na-flex lahat ng mga functions na ito kasi makikita niyo sa part 2 yung ibang mga uh, ways to make it even more better and respond uh, more specifically dun sa kung paano niyo siya gusto, gusto mag-apply. Okay? So, watch out for that. And, uh, yan. Yan muna yung lesson natin for today. Uh, thank you for joining me. And, I hope we all excel in Excel. See you in the next video.